Hi here! I'm excited to make another sign! I'm going to try to make this. Yeah. Yeah. I am going to use this Loctite spray adhesive. It says to make it permanent, you spray it on both sides, but to make it adjustable or removable or repositionable, spray it on one side. So I'm just going to spray it on this one. And it doesn't say anything about waiting for a minute. I don't think. Oh yeah, it does. Allow it to dry for one minute and then place it on. So, hmm, maybe I should get my timer out. <laughs> I've really gotten to like this spray adhesive and it works even when I forget to wait that one minute. I used the profile bit and I went around almost everything. Now I'm going to go through with the SC50 bit and I'm going to just do um, a little bit of detail work where the chains are and stuff. And yeah. Then I used a round nose bit to clean out the areas around where I had outlined. Gibson Wally came in to check on me. <laughs> then I removed the papers and I blew it off with the air compressor. Then I used shellac as a sanding sealer, but I've since learned that I should do this step before I start the project. Oh well. After that dried, I painted everything black with the primer. And I think I did this just a little too thick. While I was sanding this off, it gummed up on the sanding paper quite a bit and I had to change a whole bunch of papers out. I think it was because of the shellac being too thick. And then it also could have been from the black primer that I sprayed on way too thick but I finally got it all sanded off of there. Then I took it outside and sprayed off the dust with the air again. Ooh, doesn't that look cool? Then I sprayed a clear coat on it because I was going to add some color next. I'm not sure if this was necessary or not, but it seemed to work out just fine. I'm finally ready to start painting this and I'm excited about it. Woohoo! Yeah, so I'm gonna start with the center and move out. Or I could go from the top down. I kind of want to get to this part first. So, because I'm curious to see how that blue is going to look. And the red. And the white. Well, let's just do that then. Let's just do the blue. I found some small jars of acrylic paint and I was really glad because I wanted to copy the sign colors as close as I could to that original picture. So I was happy when I found these little jars of the colors that I needed. So I used the blue, then the red. And some silver. I used the hair dryer because I wanted to put the white on and see how it was going to look. And while I was painting with the white, I started to think about how I could make the stars look better. Then I also used some gold paint. I painted over the outer edge of the shield with silver and finished painting everything up.
I used a jigsaw to cut away that excess pine and then I sanded it with the pneumatic drum sander. Then I thought maybe I could just make some new stars and so I traced a little star pattern onto some real thin pine and then I cut those out. And I painted all those. Okay, next is the scary part, but I really want to do it. I'm going to take off these stars. Yikes! And make it flat so I can glue some new stars on it. Woohoo! Yeah! Yikesies! Yikes! Here we go! This was very scary. I used a flat bit though, and they came off really easy. So then I painted over that space with blue. And I glued the stars in place. Then I added a verse on the back. I put Psalm 2911, which says, The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. And I put my logo on using colored toner again. And I am loving how it looks with that colored toner. My little shop is getting all cramped up. Yikes! And I put Danish oil on all the areas of the bare pine. Navy sign is all finished! So thanks for joining me everybody, and we'll see you next time! Bye! Making this sign took quite a long time. And it didn't turn out exactly how I was expecting it to turn out, but I do like it. And so I gave it to some friends that were both in the Navy, and I hope they like it. I am continuing to enjoy doing the routering of the signs, and painting is always a challenge, but it's so much fun. There are a few different bits I would like to get, because doing the inset lettering, you can make it look different shapes or something like that. Anyway, I'm still learning it all, and I'm really enjoying it. So thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye!